Joe brought by some Kwai Muk, yeah? Kwai Muk. Hmm, that's, that doesn't translate well into English, but that's <laughs> what it's called. And it's uh, Articarpus, which is the breadfruit, jackfruit family, for those of you who are curious. Uh, and it's <laughs> Hypargyreus. You said you got it, yeah. Hypergyreus. Okay, Articarpus Hypargyreus. I want to say Hypergyreus, but it's not. <laughs> it's Hypargyreus. Okay, uh, it's easier to say Kwai Muk. Um, anyway, so these are locally grown. They came mm -hmm. here from Hawaii, yeah? Yeah, Hamakua and, Coast, yeah. Uh, Hamakua Coast, huh? And yeah. th that right there is a Kwai Muk. And I guess it's got to be pretty ripe because these things make a latex, and this is a, what you figure about right. Yeah, I'd give this one a shot. This one feels about perfect. That one? Okay. They go from underripe and, and kind of sour to overripe and fermenting very quickly. Very quickly, yes. Not going to yeah. be commercial fruit. Um, so are there any other qualities about this? Will I live forever? Does it cure my vision? Do we know anything else? I'm afraid you're going to have to eat something else for that. Okay, we don't yeah. know. All right. <laughs> so... I'm going to take my knife here, and of course, somebody else watching this who eats Kwaimuk all the time is going to, what are you doing with the knife? It's you know, they do that to me all the time. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to open this up first and look inside. Woo, look at that. It's kind of guava pink, yeah. sort of. Yep, pink. Wow, orangey. Yeah. And there's a seed in the middle, yeah? Yep. One in each? There's usually one, yeah. Okay, I got the seed then. Tiny little seeds. We have the seeds. Joe says these are easy to grow, so we will have the plants. All right, so. Hmm. Well. It's tart. It's sweet. Let me see. Hmm. Ah. Apricot. Yeah. Apricot. The skin feels very similar to a very ripe apricot. Um, it's not quite as sweet as like a blenheim or something. Maybe they some not of them get not quite. Yeah, it's. I'm not it's sure. Sweet if, enough. I'm though. not sure if these are the perfect ripeness mm -hmm. that they can achieve, mm -hmm. but they're pretty close. Are you gonna try one? Oh yeah, I'll give this Go one ahead. a shot. Let's yeah. see what happens to him here. I'm huh? Try to just bite right into it. Hmm. It reminds me of some kind of citrus. Mm, it yeah. like a kind of like a grapefruit or something like that. Not bitter though. Grapefruit's got the bitter aspect to it. It doesn't have the bitter. It has the sour. Has the sour. I like the flavor. It's um. I think apricot's probably the closest you're going to get. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. quite have. There's apricot has that certain tone to it of slight bitterness that is apricot. Yeah, this has almost everything else about apricot except for that one flavor note. Yeah, that, it's very juicy and it's fibrous, but the fibrous just kind of melts when you eat it. Like yeah, that. see, I, uh, I, there were some there were some strings in there, but uh, it's not yeah. too bad, and most of it sucks right off the skin. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's not bad. What do you think? You think we could eat this one? I think, let's cut it in half and see what the inside looks like. <laughs> we're gonna check it out. These first. were these were picked yesterday evening, and uh -huh. they expire very quickly. So uh, well, it doesn't look too far fetched. Huh? No, I think I think this will do just fine. All right, I got it. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe better than the last one. Yeah, you're right. A little bit citrusy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one's definitely sweeter. Well, I'll tell you what. With a name like Kwai Muk, and with something that looks like this, I mean, these things had to be almost like dried apricot on the outside. They're shrivelly looking yeah. before they got good, you know, so it's like, ooh, is this spoiled or what? But, And as you say, there's a very short window between when it's really good and when it's bad, but... Yeah. Mm, not bad. Not bad, yeah. It's a good fruit. Not bad. Yeah, I could eat these. Yeah. <laughs> Kwai muck. Uh, <laughs> I know you'll give your honest opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's for real. This is okay. That's much better than Dubai. Much better than Dubai. Enough of that. That was Kwai muck, and um, I will have some plants in the nursery. We have enough seed here to get some going, and um, yeah, I'm good with it. I say it's uh, I say it's worthwhile having in your orchard. 
You told me something about you had a tree that was surviving California. Bay I Air. do. Yes, yes. It comes from um, southern China, kind of in a sort of high elevation subtropical location, and so um, North Vietnam also. Hmm. So it has just barely enough cold tolerance to escape by a milder northern California winter. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be shocked if a hard frost did it in, mm -hmm. but uh, the last two years they've been they've been okay. But for instance, I guess here in Hawaii, as long as you're probably not too, too wet for the plant, I guess you could grow it up fairly high in the mountains too, because we have a lot of guys you know, that live over 2,000 feet around here, yeah. and they have problems even with bananas sometimes mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, it'll do just fine here. You want yeah. Kwai Muk in your garden if you're up in Volcano. <laughs> 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 Alrighty, folks. Aloha, thanks for watching, and hang loose.